Are you on a home edition of Windows yet want the convenience of the Group Policy Editor? Well, in this video, we will show you how to do just that. For a more in-depth look at the topic, be sure to check out the article in the description. The first thing we will look at is a free open source tool that makes it possible to edit local group policy on a home edition of Windows. It is called Policy Plus. The tool is in compliance with licensing and you're free to use it without violating any Microsoft terms. To get it, download it from the GitHub link. Once it's downloaded, open the file and follow any of the instructions. While that's downloading, some of the administrative templates are available in Home Edition. And as you see here, you need to download the rest of them from the internet. Policy Plus comes with un inbuilt functionality to download the latest package of these files from Microsoft. All you need to do is run the tool and this will download the full set of policy definitions from Microsoft. Once downloaded, tell it to open them. Policy Plus is similar in setup to the group policy, so experienced users should have no problem navigating around. All the available policies are displayed in the left column. You can navigate through the tree and find a suitable entry that you want to edit. This tool can easily view and edit registry-based policies and local GPOs, per user GPOs, individual PLO files, offline registry, user hives, and the live registry. You can also use the search functionality to find a specific policy. You can search by ID, by text, by registry. And editing a policy is simple. You need to just click open the policy and then make the desired change. Similar to the native group policy editor, Policy Plus also displays the policy description and lets you make comments. Once you've made the changes to Group Policy Object, you'll need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Now, features in a nutshell, it runs and works on all Windows Edition, not just Pro and Enterprise. It complies fully with licensing, i.e. it's transplant, no components across Windows installation. You can view and edit registry-based policies and local GPOs, per user GPOs, individual PLO files, offline registry user hives, and the live registry. You can navigate the policies by ID, text, or affected registry entries. And you can show additional technical information uh, about objects, the policies, the categories, the products, and provide convenient ways to share and import policy settings. Now, the refresh policy X function does not work on the home edition, so you have to restart your computer in order to observe the changes. And also, you can create an edit per user group policies, but their settings are ignored by Windows, so you'll need to edit the registry yourself for those changes to take effect. If you do not want to download third-party software, Microsoft offers an undocumented way to enable GP Edit in the Windows Home Editions. Now, before we begin, you have to make sure that you are signed into an admin account and that you have an active internet connection. Then, open the command prompt as an administrator. And you can either type in these commands or you can just copy paste them from the article. We are just going to copy paste. Just doing it. We will copy paste the other one. Then paste the other one, hit enter. After this, you will need to restart your system. 
And after you've restarted, try using the GP edit MSC command then. Now, some administrative templates may be missing. You can go to the article. We have a link to the ADMX files. Click on the red download button. Remember, not all the features are available on the home edition. For instance, multiple loop local group policies are not supported on Windows Home. You should also note that Windows Home users will have to restart their computer to apply any of the new settings. For more helpful articles to help you maximize your Windows experience, go to our website, thewindowsclub.com. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel where we are always adding new content aimed at making you the master of your digital house. Thanks for watching and have a great day.